Good morning again everyone. This is video number two of three for today. I'm going to start off by reading from the book of John chapter 3 verses 1 through 6. And this is Jesus speaking to Nicodemus. Verily, verily, I say unto thee, Nicodemus, except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Nicodemus rather sarcastically replied to Jesus and said, How? Can a man be born when he is old? Can he enter the second time into his mother's womb and be born again? Jesus very lovingly and very patiently responded, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, Nicodemus, except a man be born of water and of the Spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. That which is born of the flesh is flesh, and that which is born of the Spirit is spirit. Marvel not that I say unto thee, ye must be born again. The wind bloweth whether it li listeth, and thou hearest the sound thereof, but canst not tell whence it cometh and whither it goeth. So is every one that is born of the Spirit. Next I'm going to read John chapter 8, verse 36. If the Son therefore shall make ye free, ye shall be free indeed. That is after you have been born again. He will make you free. He will give you peace like you've never had before. Next is 2 Corinthians chapter 5 verse 17. Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Old things are passed away. That means they're dead. They're gone. They don't exist anymore. And behold, all things are become new. And the fourth one I'm going to read to you, I am going to read Romans chapter 6, verses 16 through 23. Know ye not that to whom ye yield yourselves servants to obey, his servants ye are to whom ye obey, whether of sin unto death or obedience unto righteousness? But God be thanked that ye were the servants of sin, but ye have obeyed from the heart that form of doctrine which was delivered you. Being then made free from sin, ye became the servants of righteousness. I speak after the manner of man because of the infirmity of your flesh. For as ye have yielded your members servants to uncleanness and to an iniquity, unto iniquity, iniquity, even so now yield your members servants to righteousness unto holiness. For when ye were the servants of sin, ye were free from righteousness. What fruit had ye then in those things whereof ye are now ashamed? For the end of those things is death, eternal death, and hell for all eternity. But now, being made free from sin and being servants of God, ye have your fruit unto holiness and the everlasting life, everlasting life in heaven with Jesus for all eternity. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Friends, I pray, I pray, I pray that all of you know Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior and that you're serving Him. If you're not, today is the day of salvation. Time on planet Earth is running out very, very rapidly. It could end today with a rapture which will immediately begin chaos like this world has never known. I pray that you are a Christian now, today. If not, listen for God's still small voice. Go running into his arms. Scripture tells us, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. There is no works involved in being saved. It is all done by faith through grace. God gives you the faith.
subscribe to my channel please share my videos the world needs Jesus so please share my videos give me comments give me a thumbs up hit the notification bell so you'll know when my next video comes out I love you and may God bless you all abundantly